Singurul lucru care nu este negociabil este integritatea teritorială a Ucrainei. Cu acest mandat intră echipa ucraineană în a treia rundă de discuții care ar urma să aibă loc chiar astăzi. Șeful delegației de la Kiev spune că sunt gata să discute despre orice alte opțiuni dinamice, dar nu despre recunoașterea teritoriilor din Donbass. Ucraina caută acum alternative de apărare după ce NATO a spus clar că nu va impune no fly zone deasupra Ucrainei. Ei spun că nu au nevoie de avioane NATO, ci doar de rachete defensive. First day of operations, they destroyed all of our air defense facilities. So they basically are flying in empty sky. And that's the main issue, you know, so they can bomb uh, civilian places. So they basically dominate the sky. Once we stop dominating the sky issue on the land, even considering the fact that their army is five times bigger or 10 times bigger than ours, we are pretty sure that we will fight back and actually put them away back to the place where they started from. So that's why it's so important. So we, it saves so many lives of civilians and of course, Ukrainian soldiers. That's why we were so pissed off by the, by the decided decision of the NATO. So we will do it ourselves. We don't need, you know, NATO planes. We need Ukrainian pilots to fly, you know, uh, our planes or give us, you know, air defense rockets. Ucraina poate primi un ajutor nesperat de la Donald Trump. Fostul președinte american ar putea merge în Ucraina însoțit de câțiva congresmeni republicani. We got unconfirmed yet, uh, I don't know, information that Donald Trump, former president, together with a couple of Republicans from the Congress, are planning to come to Ukraine to support Ukrainians and to talk about this no-fly zone, different options for no-fly zone, maybe providing air defense, what I'm talking about. 